Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be super interesting because in this video today, we are going to learn about project management using a real life case study of McDonald's. Yes, the same McDonald's which has revolutionized the way we consume burgers since the 1940s. So as project managers, we will see how and why the Arch Deluxe Burger of McDonald's failed miserably as a product in the market versus its super successful peers such as the Big Mac or the Cheeseburger. I am Ray, a PMP certified project manager with over 10 years of work experience across multiple industries. Currently, I am working as a senior project manager with the National Health Service of the UK in London. My intent of this channel is not only to help you prepare for project management certification exams, but also to help you learn project management to become better professionals in the industry. Now the key intent of this video will be to learn and understand why big projects led by massive companies managed by super experienced teams can still fail if they lose sight of the big picture and do not follow the key steps and guidelines of project management, okay? But before I start guys, a disclaimer that I am not here to critique any project, any team or any organization. I truly believe guys that no project in the industry starts with the intent of failing, right? My aim is to use this case study of McDonald's to help you learn project management using a very crucial tool in project management which is learn from experience. So if you are excited to learn about project management with the case study of McDonald's burgers, give this video a like, hit the subscribe button and let's get the discussion started. Now before getting into the project management side of things, let's first understand the background of this famous Arch Deluxe Burger. The McDonald's Arch Deluxe Burger was created in 1996 to appeal to a new, more sophisticated and mature demographic of adults versus its kids range of hamburgers and cheeseburgers. That's why the tagline of the Arch Deluxe Burger was the burger with the grown-up taste. It was positioned as a premium burger that had a whole grain bakery style bun, peppered bacon, American cheese, a quarter pound beef patty, lettuce, tomato, onion, ketchup and some special mustard sauces to match the adult taste. However, despite the new and improved ingredients and the targeted appeal to matured adults instead of kids, the Arch Deluxe Burger was a catastrophic failure on the McDonald's menu and was discontinued from the market within 5 years from its launch. In spite of spending close to $300 million in the overall product development and advertising, the Arch Deluxe failed to break even in sales even after 4 years of its launch, which later resulted in the resignation of Edward Renzi, who was the CEO of McDonald's operations at that time. Now that's let's say is the tip of the iceberg of the entire story of the Arch Deluxe Burger. However, from a project management standpoint, let's try to focus on the bottom of the iceberg and analyze this business case to understand what really went wrong in this seemingly perfect product of McDonald's. To explain things in light of the project management framework guys, we will use the 49 process chart of PMBOK. This chart is the backbone of all the essential steps of a project as mandated by the Project Management Institute. If you are preparing for the PMP or the CAPM exams, you have definitely come across this chart, right? Now, let's look at this step in the initiation stage of any project. Develop Project Charter. In this step, it is crucial for any project to identify its customer or end user. Now, according to me, McDonald's did a pretty good job here, okay? I mean, Till the 1996, there was no burger in the McDonald's menu to attract adult customers with a mature taste. Burgers 
such as the Big Mac or the cheeseburger were positioned to attract either kids or teenagers. So focusing on the adults who are let's say above 25 years of age and targeting that segment as the primary end user of the product was a pretty smart move. However, once the product moved from initiation to planning, things started to go wrong. If you look at these two steps in the planning stage of the project, plan communications management and plan stakeholder engagement, these are the two areas where things went horribly wrong for McDonald's. Now we all know guys that when a new product is launched in the market, advertising and awareness building are key parts of project communication and stakeholder engagement, right? But the way in which the Arch Deluxe was communicated to the adult customer group was perceived to be quite misfitted and too confusing. Let's try to understand this with some examples. In one of the ads of the Arch Deluxe Burger, there was a situation where a boy and a girl has gone out for a date and where the boy eats a burger in a very childish way, the girl orders an Arch Deluxe. And the ad mentions in the end that girls do mature faster than boys. Now, what message the viewer is supposed to take home after watching this ad, guys? Is it that the Arch Deluxe Burger is only for girls? Is it that boys are immature and do not know how to eat a burger properly? Is it that McDonald's is not a good place to go out for a date? Hmm? You see guys, too confusing. And the whole value proposition of what the Arch Deluxe is supposed to be offering was missing in this advertisement. In another advertisement, while some kids were having fun with music, the parent comes and says that they are going out to the McDonald's to have the Arch Deluxe Burger and see the expressions of the kids when they hear about the Arch Deluxe. Now, will a mom or a dad plan to go to a place or plan to eat a burger which the kids really hate? Is it really a good way of positioning a burger as an adult's burger? It is like McDonald's saying that, you know what? The Arch Deluxe Burger is a great burger for you as an adult because your kids hates it. Mm, not very helpful, right? So in summary guys, because of designing such confusing and conflicting brand communications, these two key steps in the planning stage of the project went completely off track for the Arch Deluxe Burger. Next, let's look at these two steps from managing costs during a project. So across the initiation and the planning stage, you develop a cost management plan, decide the price for your product, conduct a return on investment analysis to decide the break even volumes, etc. Right. And later, during the monitoring and controlling phase, you control your costs to be within your set targets. This is where the Arch Deluxe Burger went wrong again. Now to begin with, the overall funding of the Arch Deluxe Burger project should have been a part of the project's cost management plan. This is the step where McDonald's should have decided the price of the Arch Deluxe Burger based on the planned budget of their manufacturing spends, distribution spends and advertising spends, right? Now, can you make a wild guess how much was the advertisement spent for a $300 million project like the Arch Deluxe Burger. It was a massive $150 to $200 million, guys. Well over 50% of the overall project budget. Now that's really big. And when you commit such a massive portion of your project's funds in promotional activities, you need to be spot on in your brand communication, okay? which was really not the case as we have seen earlier. So all that money spent in celebrity promotions, event promotions and in-house promotions did not convert to additional revenue for McDonald's. In a way, if you notice carefully guys, it's a vicious loop for any product in the market which is struggling. You launch the product, it doesn't do very well, you spend some more in advertisements and promotions, there is an occasional rise in sales and it wanes off again. You think spending some more 
on a different kind of a promotional activity will help again the same phenomena happens and this keeps eroding the funds of the project to make it unviable in the end so mcdonald's may have planned their costs well initially but it failed to control it during the monitoring and controlling phase of the project finally in the whole cost management process of the arch deluxe burger the last nail in the coffin was its price point in the market when the arch deluxe was first introduced in 1996 it was priced at around 2.49 dollars for the burger alone and 4.99 dollars for a value meal which in today's inflation adjusted numbers is 4.21 for the burger and about 8.43 dollars for the whole meal now that was on a very high side of the entire mcdonald's menu if we compare it as of today as well which was not of course justified as enough value for money for the customers because in the end the arch deluxe burger had similar stuff to what other burgers in mcdonald's used to have this context of product differentiation could be understood very well with the kano model of product development which plots the customer satisfaction on a particular product with respect to its features this is what the model explains okay you will never be able to satisfy your customers with features that are must haves in a product you have to focus on some delighters in the whole product proposition to really wow your customers and then demand a higher price on it in the arch deluxe burger case if you check the ingredients of the burger there was nothing which was a delighter okay which could have justified the price point of 4.2 dollars for a premium burger which was not really premium right so customers didn't see enough value for money in the product i mean still today mcdonald's is seen as a fast food chain and not as a michelin star restaurant right i hope you enjoyed the video guys and learned some real life application of project management principles if you did please press the like button and i will see you again in the next video